Okay, I moved the camera around. Now I'm going to go ahead and mount this scale on here. I'm going to put a little Loctite on these bolts as well, like I did with the other ones. Like I said, I'm using some blue Loctite here. The scale. in there. Get the one for the other end. We'll put some Loctite on it. Okay, that scale is mounted on there. Now, let me bring the wires up here so they're out of the way of everything. slide this reed head down this way. And use for that bracket. Put a little off tight on those. Pushing the bracket up against the casting there, and then I'm going to put the screws up into the reed head. Just because it's easier to tighten those screws out here on the side. Tighten those screws up to the reed head, and then I can uh, bolt the bracket to the housing there, the casting. Okay, I just got the screws lightly on there. I'm pushing this bracket up against the casting where it goes. That's not, that actually isn't where it's mounted, but it will be mounted, but it's going to be the same distance. I'm going to snug up these screws into the reed head and then I'm going to move the bracket over to where it actually gets mounted at.
Okay. That slides over right there. And let me see if I can remember which screws I was going to put in. I think it's these. Seems a little bit too long for what I tapped there. The ones I put into the reed head were the ones I had planned on putting in there. here with some washers, I think.
you can tell, there isn't a lot of room to work down in there on that lower bracket. I think when we get to the other scale for the y-axis, we might have a little bit room, more room to work on some of this. Now I'm going to turn the camera off for a minute and I'm going to tighten these screws back up. Okay, I can't resist. I've got to play a little bit. I got that bracket bolted on there. I went ahead and got the lead out up here. And I'm going to go ahead and hook it up. two screws, one right here on this end, one right here on this end. That's how you mount the x-axis scale on this RF31 mil drill. Scale is mounted, the reed head is attached down here. The cover is on, I just need to route the wire to the uh, readout itself. And I actually did hook it up and it does work. So, But I will show you that after I get the uh, y-axis on here and get the uh, readout mounted someplace. I'll show you that they do both work. So, Anyway, that's going to end it for this video. This is section one of installing the DRO on the RF31 mil drill. Uh, the next video will be installing the scale for the Y-axis on the RF31 mil drill. So anyway, thanks for joining me here today. 
on machining. 